All right, so we're back here in the lab, and I got the green laser still um, shining through the diffraction grating onto the whiteboard over there. And you can see the diffraction pattern again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red laser, fire the laser. You should see the red dot moving around on the whiteboard. And I'm going to have the red laser light pass through the diffraction grating, and we're going to compare the diffraction pattern created by the green laser dots with the red laser dots. So I'm just going to hold this in place. There you see on the whiteboard now the diffraction pattern created by the red laser. And what you'll notice, if I can kind of line these up, maybe, possibly, there we go. Um, you'll notice that the red dots are farther apart than the green dots, um, considerably so. And so the wavelength being longer for red light means that the Y, or the separation between the minimum, maximums up there, is going to be greater as well. So I'm going to repeat the experiment. I've got my laser and diffraction grating set back to two and a half meters. So let's turn off the green laser. Turn off the laser! Okay, and we're just going to put the red laser on our little track so that it's fixed in place in front of the diffraction grating. Okay, so now fire the laser! And let's measure the distance between our Y values as a function of the L value from the diffraction grating to the screen. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper and let's start collecting data again. Okay, so let's start measuring values of Y and changing up our L, the distance from the diffraction grating to the screen, um, for our red laser. So right now the um, diffraction grating is two and a half meters away. Um, two and a quarter meters, actually, sorry. So L is two and a quarter, and the red dots are not as easy to see. So I'm gonna shoot my flashlight, that's like 44. Point four and fifteen point three. That gives me twenty nine point one. All right, so scooching this forward. Now it's at two meters and forty four point six and nineteen on the dot. That gives me twenty five point six. Scooching it up again. One point seven five meters. My first dot is forty one point six. My second dot is nineteen again. Twenty two point six. Scooching up to one point five. So 1.5, first dot is 49.6 minus 30.1 is 19 and a half. Scooching it up to one and a quarter. So that's 44 even and 28 even. 16 even. Scooching up to one meter. <coughs> Excuse me, scooching up to one meter. Scooch 
Move it up to three quarters of a meter. So that's 52.7. That's nine point eight, so zero point zero nine eight. And then last reading, let's push it up to half a meter. And so that's Fifty four even minus forty seven point six six point four. So zero point zero six four meters. Okay, so as you can see, we started way back here. As we got closer again, those dots got closer together as we changed our L value. So now let's figure out what to graph. And that's actually your job. So your job now is to figure out what quantities you're going to graph to get the wavelength of that red laser. Once you have that graphed and you've got the wavelength calculated, um, I can give you the accepted value. Because the, the wavelength is still printed on the laser, I'm just not going to tell you until you tell me.